What's up, YouTube? It's Spartan CC bringing you a kind of new video today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to patch IPS files onto ROM so that you can create hacks for all the different games that you want. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward, so I'm going to show you how to do each part. I'm going to walk, walk through it with you. You guys can follow this while you're making your own. Um, but we'll get off with some starters of some things that you're going to need. Um, so the first thing is you're going to need something that can check whether the ROM that you have is headered or unheadered. Um, almost every single hack that I have run into, they want you to have a unheadered ROM. Um, so how you do that is there's this really nice utility called Tush. You can find it at this website right up here, or you can type Tush header in Google, and it should be the first one that comes up. And you just download it here, and that will come up with um, this, which is just called Tush. Open it up, open up this folder, and then there's the application. So you'll run that. It will pull up this, and all you do is you browse it, right? So you're looking for the ROM. So I have a, a ROM of Super Metroid right here. You'll click open and it will tell me this file is unheadered. If it is headered, uh, you can come up here and just click remove header. But since this one does not have a header, it's not going to have that option. So that's what we want. We want it unheadered for almost every single one. Um, you, you should check the readme of the hack that you want to um, patch and see what it needs. Almost all of them are going to be unheadered, but there are some <laughs> that aren't. Um, so yeah, just check the readme on the game that you want to hack. So the next thing we're going to need is something that's called Lunar IPS. It's also at the same website. Um, here's the website where you can type up Lunar IPS in Google. <clears throat> and you'll download it here. And it will also bring up a file like this, Lips 102. And comes up with this little red moon. And you'll when you click on that, it brings this. So this is where you actually want the IPS patch and you want the ROM. So um, I'll show you what I have for mine. So I have Super Metroid. And then I have um, Super Zero Mission. So this is the hack. Um, it's a lunar IPS file, as you can see. Um, sometimes it has like a little red heart. Um, mine does not right now. I wonder if I do this. No. So mine does not, which is fine. And as you can see right now, it has about 3,000 kilobytes. So this number should go up after you patch it. That means it did it correctly. So come into here, run Lunar IPS, brings this up. So we're going to apply the IPS patch. So this is where we go to here and see how it's a little red heart. So we can click on that. And then it will want to me to select the file. So now it comes up with Super Metroid. Click open, and it will patch it. Right? Quick and easy. Done. So we can go out of this. We can see that it went from 3,000 to 3,500 kilobytes. So with that, you're pretty good to know that it has patched successfully. And I use um, a RetroPie to play these. And so I would simply just put this onto a USB, plug it into my RetroPie, and I'd be able to play it. So pretty quick, um, you know, and I got this. Um, if you guys are wondering how I got this, where I got this hack from, um, I got, there's a bunch of them on uh, Metroid Construction, which I had here. Uh, but it is, there it is. And there's a bunch of them here. And so all you do is just go on to here and they have the uh, IPS patch here. So you'd, so you'd click on this and it would download it and do the same thing. Check for headers on the ROM. So make sure you have the ROM. And then you'd also, um, you know, patch it with the Lunar IPS. So pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully I can help you out. Um, but that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And as always, have an awesome day.